are we at now? Right? That's, that's the big question. Uh, at this point, there is an alt-A market out there. They're looking for a lot bigger down payments. They're looking for a lot higher credit scores. So I can't do nearly what we were able to do before. We still have our FHA programs. If you got big money to put down, and I'll talk about this a little later, but I mean, look, for a buyer like me, it's kind of good news. Not, not, not when I'm wearing my mortgage hat, not when I'm wearing my realtor hat, but when I'm buying my, wearing my investor hat, hey, I'm one of the guys with the credit and the money and the full dock. This is good news for me because less people to chase those houses, I can pick them up cheaper. But who's this going to affect? It's really going to affect everybody. Even your A buyers. Now, what about towns? Who's this going to affect? Let's talk about Patterson versus Nutley. Think about a scenario in Patterson where I got a realtor and I did a lot of loans for. I would do a open house for this guy and 10 people would show up at the open house. He'd send me over all their information and I'd be able to get eight out of those 10 people who qualify. Pretty good. Now flip that. Now, same, same type house, same realtor, same quality guy, same people show up, I can get two qualified. What's that mean when his potential buyers swing from eight to two and all those inventories are going up? What do you think that's going to mean? It means like houses like Patterson are in big trouble. Places like Patterson are in big trouble. And, and again, this is where I wanted to talk about Places like Patterson have, have improved greatly. Everyone can agree Jersey City's improved, Newark's improved, Patterson's improved. And one of the main reasons is home ownership. I call this get off my front, front lawn mentality. If I own this house and you're dealing drugs in front of my house, I'm going kick to you, kick you to the curb. I'm going to get out there and I'm going to chase you off my front lawn. You, you, you spray paint my, the front of my house that I own, you're going to have a problem. But if I'm a tenant, that's the landlord's problem. I mean, how, how did Giuliani clean up New York? It's, it's a broken window mentality. You fix that window quick and people don't come back because they, they think it's a good neighborhood. They, they, don't, they don't think that this is the place they're going to get away with stuff. So now, when we go from a owner mentality to a renter mentality, it's, it's great for me. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy a ton of houses in, in Paris because the prices are going to drop so much that I'm going to be able to buy cash flowing properties in North Jersey. And I'm very excited about that. But my profit is going to be a detriment to Patterson. Now let's, let's compare that to Nutley. Nutley is a solid middle town, right? Uh, their prices are not going to go down as much because more down payments, more full dock buyers, more people coming out from New York City. And actually, Nutley's going to be in better shape partially than Montclair. Before Bob has a Bob Renner takes the shit fit here. Let me, he, he, he sells them Montclair. Montclair isn't going to be that bad, but it's going to be, those borrowers are going to be paying a lot higher premium for those interest rates. Now we're talking about those, those um, Alt-A borrowers again. Nutley, conforming loan sizes. You buy a $500,000 house, you put you know, $50,000 down, I get you a $50,000 home equity line on the second. You know, we got a $400,000 loan amount, no problem, conforming 6.375, there you go. But when you're in Montclair, you want to buy a $1.5 million house, those places are going to have problems because they're going to pay a lot more higher interest rates and it's tougher to get in there. Uh, this market is going to come back, and when it does, one of the first things I think it is going to do is going to bring back that alt day and, and bring those back in. And, 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 I, and I tell you why. I would lend these guys these money. I mean, I'm, I'm talking, to, talking to account executives going, what are you talking about? These guys have got an 800 credit score. They can show you a million dollars worth of reserves. They're putting 20% down. Why is their rate seven and a half? I would put my money on the table. If these guys wanted to borrow my money, I would lend it to these guys. But nobody's buying that paper. They can't buy the paper. They can't turn around and sell. When the market starts turning around, and, and it will, I think that's going to be one of the first to go. I think that's one of the, maybe the first things to pull back. Now. Before I continue, let me make a quick commentary that I don't think that this is going to be forever. Um, some of the market's going to come back pretty quick. And I'm 
confident on this, on the, on the great American concept of greed. And I'll tell you why. When, it does, when they revalue all this paper, when they finally figure out what it is, when they, when they go away from this mark to market, and someone's able to calculate what it is, there's going to be a giant stack of mortgages. There's a giant, giant stack of mortgages stacked up. Uh, Anka Dougal will sell you, sell you something if you like. He's, he's in the office. He's reselling these mortgages to, 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 to individuals because they can't get rid of them. But someone's going to come along and they're, they're going to they're gonna grab a package of mortgages. And the return on them is going to be good. And the next guy's going to say, hey, what, what did he do? That worked out for you? And the next guy's going to come along he's going to grab a package. And then it's going to be an effect. I don't know if this is six months. I don't know if it's a year, two years. Are we going to get back to 100% financing with 620 grad score? No. I actually wrote that loan. 620 credit score stated 100% financing on the two family. No problem. That, those days are gone, and I don't think we'll see them anytime soon. 